Here we are at the Three Sigma test lab and we're looking at a new feeder that has been designed for a customer to feed titanium dioxide. Um, very small batches, one and a half to two and a half pound batches in about a minute. And we have a very small one half cubic foot hopper. We have what we call a six inch diameter feed tray. Here's the outlet. We fill the material in and you can see there's the material in the feeder itself. The unit is driven in this case by an electromagnetic drive and here's our, here's our GM8 feed tray which actually has an overlap so there's going to be one tray that comes part way over and then the bottom tray here. The flexible sleeve here isolates the feed tray from the hopper so that when, when we're using the vibration we're only moving the feed tray and by moving that feed tray back and forth up to one millimeter maximum we can change the feed rate up and down which you'll see in a few moments very simple little stand. This little feeder is going to be filled manually. This is the second feeder purchased by the company. Um, the internals uh, have been electro polished. You can see some of the material inside of it. Since titanium dioxide is uh, very adhesive and cohesive, we've electro polished the feed tray, as you can see as well. This will keep material from sticking. It will build up, but the interesting thing you'll see in a bit is that we can wipe it off with a finger and it will come right off. Uh, unlike with the screw feeder where the material will actually heat, it will build and bond and actually will break your screw. So we'll start the feeder. So it's coming out right now at a pretty fast rate. We'll go ahead and slow it down about 50% maybe, 30%. You can see by changing the output, slow it down some more. Okay, you don't just stop it now. You can see it's an ins and off when you start it and stop it. Let's start it and stop it. So it's on, off. It's an ins and off. Now I can sit and hit this feed tray, and I really, really am going to have to move this thing to make it, to make material come out of it. Uh, once material's set, you really have to put a lot of effort in to make it come out. So let's start it again. Yeah, we're at a, at a pretty low rate at this point. We can actually get this to dribble at a very, very slow speed. Once you turn it down as slow as you can, it's still moving it. Is it all the way down right now? All right, let's stop it.